after an explosive end to season six, Fear of the Walking Dead is back and picking up after a nuclear explosion that wiped out the Texas landscape. And everyone's physical and mental strength will be put to the test as they try and rebuild. Take a look. She'll find this place. <laughs> She'll get through to you. No, she won't. She won't have anything to do with me after this. And Jenna Elfman joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so I, I need to start with the setting of this season. It's dusty. It's lonely. It's hot. So what was filming this season like compared to others? You know, I think it's right at this point where every character uh, is going through a massive transformation. It's so stunning what they've done with the production design. And then to watch the characters in it just shift and morph in the story. It's it's going to be a very dynamic season. And honestly, this this whole starting over theme is kind of reminiscent of what we are dealing with coming out of the pandemic. Have you in your real life had any personal moments of reinvention over the last several months? You know, I, I found that through this whole experience during the pandemic, as unbelievably heartbreaking and challenging and destructive that it's been when push comes to shove and it's survival you're looking survival like directly in the eye right. the most the truest most important things to you come to view very clearly watching you in this i always forget that you're a classically trained ballerina <laughs> now has any of that ever been applicable in the zombie world you know, there's a lot of stunt work that we do on this show. And I have to say, having a familiarity with my body and the athleticism of having been a dancer, um, I, I take to the stunts well and I enjoy doing them because it's very physical. So you have been married to your husband, Bodie, for 26 years, correct? So uh, I stopped counting. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> so especially in Hollywood, that's so impressive. You have two children and a podcast together. So tell me for those who aren't listening to the podcast yet, what it's all about and what was the inspiration to start doing this? A long time ago, my husband was, you know, we wanted to do a comedy scripted show like about marriage, like curb your enthusiasm, but marriage, you know, right. and the politics of marriage and the male, female, uh, all of it. There's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then I was always on a show. And so we started a podcast because we just thought, let's just talk about it. Let's just start talking. And we film a lot of them as well. Um, and it's a R rated comedy podcast where we just discuss very candidly all the dynamics of relationships. Now, is, is there one of you who is kind of the boss of the podcast? <laughs> so we just did a little one, just, we just released it a couple days ago about who's holding the conch. Every marriage is different. My mm -hmm. husband would probably like it. Not probably. He straight out said he would like it if I was at times would just step back a little bit. Um, and I don't know how to do that sometimes. And so we talk about that very openly. Yeah. Now, your career, from an outside perspective at least, is like the perfect Hollywood story. Was there a specific project or decision that had the most maybe unexpected or surprising results that kind of got you to where you are now? So I think the biggest lesson for me was just always staying true to what felt right for me. And the times I didn't do that, I learned the hardest lessons. And it's lovely to watch you and listen to you and everything that you're doing. And everyone can catch Fear of the Walking Dead every Sunday night at 9 p.m. on AMC. And also all episodes are available one week early on AMC+. Plus. Jenna, thank you so much. It was so nice talking to you. You too, and good luck with your beautiful baby. <laughs>